We're back out on the bass buggy, and today we've got a quick tip for you that's sure to help your bed fishing. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. Yeah, hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. You hooked that in pretty good. No, that wasn't me. This has been caught before. Oh, he may have been caught before. Yeah, I'm in his whip. Good deal. Good deal. Welcome back to Low Brow Fishing. And today, we're talking about fishing those spawning beds. We all know that this is your best chance for catching your PB. If you can get that big female to bite your lure, well, you can just land the biggest fish of your life. Now, a lot of the problem with that is, is these fish are just not in the mood to feed. What they're mainly looking to do is move the invader off of their bed. So a lot of times you get them just biting the tips of your claws or biting the tip of your tail or whatever bait you have that you're bringing across their bed. They bite the tip of it, shake it a little bit, pull it over to the side and spit it out. Whenever you set the hook, all you get is nothing. Now, for me, the best way I can fix that is by using something where they have no choice but to grab the hook. And a lot of you northern anglers are going to recognize this little trick instantly. And that is with a little ice fishing jig. It's got a hook on the front and it's got a hook on the back. Now normally it's got a treble hook right here. But I've removed that because it makes it easier just to jig it across the bed. Now it can take a few times to get them to bite this thing. But that's with any bait. Remember, you're trying to get, you're trying to aggravate that fish and get it to attack your lure. And they can't just bite the tail and rip it off, or the claw and rip it off, if there's hooks on both sides. This is a technique I discovered a couple years ago, and it works very well for me. It greatly improves my hookup ratio when trying to pull those fish off bed. But remember, the most important thing about fishing beds. When you catch those big girls, and even the buck males off of the bed, whenever you catch those fish, put them right back. Don't keep them. Don't put them in your live well to measure them, weigh them for later. Put them right back where you found them. That way, the next generation of fish will be protected, can grow up to be those big ones that we're all looking for, and everyone can continue fishing into the future. Thanks for watching Lowbrow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.